Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel, Last Love Read. I'm Kay, and today we're gonna talk about winter books. And by winter books, I mean like winter buy books, books that make me personally think about winter or they feel like winter. Not sure if that makes any sense, but let's get started. And then maybe you'll see what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so. I should probably get the one book that I have. Um, okay, read. <laughs> so let's talk about winter five books. Um, Number one, in no particular order, really, is Hunted by Megan Spooner. And when I think about this book, I always think about winter, like heavy snow. This book scream, screams winter for me. I mean, look at the cover, just the cover alone. Blue, clearly. Right, this book is set in winter. Um, it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and her name is Yeva Eva Yeva Y E V A. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeva. Um, I don't know. I mispronounce a bunch of names in books because I have no idea how they're pronounced. Um, and so yeah, uh, Yeva ends up going to rescue her father because um, he goes missing in the woods and then she encounters the beast and you know how the story goes, right? Beauty the Beast retelling. I love this book. I thought it was um, unique-ish in the way that it tells the Beauty and the Beast story. I liked it a lot. I read this a while ago so I can't really remember. <laughs> The rating that I would give it, I mean, I haven't really started reading books till recently, essentially, for the sake of feedback to people. Um, but I feel like it's definitely in the four star range or higher for me when I read it. I love Beauty and the Beast retellings. I love Beauty and the Beast, I'm a basic bitch in that way. Um, and so, recommend. Screams winter, set in winter, opens up in winter, all the winter vibes. Um, yeah. Second book is Shiver. I know this is Slinger, but I've currently lent my copy of Shiver to my best friend. Um, so I don't have it, but I'll put it up here somehow, somewhere. And Shiver is by Maggie Sandbotter. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and it is actually, it starts in summer. I remember that very vividly. Um, it's like hot as hell, but winter is fast approaching, okay? Um, so. <laughs> This book is about um, werewolves, kind of, essentially, sort of. Aww. So we have Grace and Sam, and Grace is this girl. Uh, Sam is this boy who turns into a wolf in the winter time, basically. And Sam and Grace kind of go back, but they don't really know it, sort of. They sort of do one of them does, the other one sort of doesn't, and then, then she does whatever. Um, so this book starts out in summer, but then it, it moves towards winter. And when I think about this book, I can literally imagine myself in Grace's backyard on her swing with the snow falling on me, just smelling fresh winter air, if that makes any sense. You know, it just feels chilly and 
like chills your lungs. It's like crisp and I'm sniffing peppermint or, or something. And that's that's the fresh scent that I'm talking about. And that's what I think about when I think about shiver. Um, actually, I associate like the whole series with winter. And I feel like not all of it is set in winter. So that's how strong a memory of this book that is with the shiver I have um, in general. And other weird fact about this book is that I also think about Cosmic Love by Florence and the Machine when I think about this book. The, that song, the feels, the emotions that I get when I listen to Cosmic Love by Florence and the Machine is what this book made me feel when I was reading it. Like, I cannot listen to that song without thinking about the book or think about the book without thinking about that song. So if you want to read this book while you're listening to that song, go ahead and I feel like it will be a perfect combination. It will go real good together. Next book is Blood Air um, by Emily. Emily? When Sal um, and Bloody Air, I feel like people know about. I mean, I feel like people know about all of these books essentially, but I don't feel like they're overly hyped. Um, so, yeah, Bloody Air is basically a retelling of Anastasia, um, which I love. I love Anastasia, the Disney movie. Um, it's not necessarily of Anastasia, the Disney movie, but you know, just the tale of Anastasia. and. Basically, it follows Anastasia, who is accused of killing her father, and then she's like on the run, trying to prove her innocence, yada yada yada. Um, and it is set in winter, I think, for the entirety of the book. I mean, literally, the cover of the book is like her in snow, and it just would be perfect to read in winter. I actually really like the book. I think it was like a four star read for me also. Maybe higher. So, you wanna read a book that makes you feel like it's winter? In winter? <laughs> this is one of them. Um, then we have The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. This book, is a five-star read. It's a romance. Basically, it's a love, a hate to love romance. Um, kind of, I mean, hate is a strong word. I don't think it's necessarily hate, but, you know. And it is perfection. It is set in Alaska in winter. It's Alaska. How much winter can you get? It's, you know, perfect. I picture pines and snow and all the winter vibes with this one. And I loved it. Five stars. It was perfect. There's a sequel to this, Wild at Heart, and I wish I hadn't read it, basically. I wish I had just stopped at Simple Wild and imagined the rest of the story because it was annoying and kind of pointless. But Simple Wild, perfect. It centers kind of about her relationship with her dad. So um, essentially Kala lives in Toronto, I believe, and she has an estranged relationship with her father. And then uh, he, his friend, lover sort of complicated relationship there um reaches out to Kala to you know come visit her dad so she goes to visit her dad uh, and spend some time with him and then it's sort of her relationship with her dad and whatever and romance doesn't take up the whole story but it's really sweet it's a big part of it I, I imagine in a romance um, but I love that it's not the center, the complete center of the book, and it was just perfect. Everything was beautiful, and yeah, highly recommend this one actually. 
And then, fifth book that I would recommend. Um, if you want something cute, sweet, short, YA, uh, would be Dash and Lily's Book of Bears. And obviously, again, winter, look at the cover, snow falling, whatever, set in winter. This book is actually would be good for like around Christmas time, because I believe it's waiting on to like Christmas. And it should, it's about Dash and Lily, it's set in New York City. I read this book in high school, obviously I had to pick it up. Um, it's kind of centered around the Strand, which is this bookstore in New York City. It takes up like whole blocks um, and it's just beautiful. Um, and so Dash and Lily kind of use this book and leave each other dares and stuff. And it's just adorable by a pure goodness from what I remember, loved it. Um, and there's even a Netflix series, I believe, about it. Um, I think it's a series, I don't think it's a, it's a movie, I think it's a series. Have I seen it? No. Should I? Probably. I think I will, but I have so many other shows that I watch. <laughs> I just... <sighs> I can't even watch anything else. I haven't even finished all of my shows. I started watching Lucifer season 5 and I'm like halfway through, but I moved on. To Demon Slayer, which I binge watched, and now I have nothing else to watch, but all I want to watch is that. And there's no season two. Anyways, maybe I will watch Dash and Lily soon. But um, yeah, the book was really cute from what I remember. Totally reminds me of Winter. You want my read Dash and Lily's Book of Ears. Um, and that is by <laughs> Rachel Kahn and David Leviathan. Um, so yeah, if you want to read a book and then binge watch a Netflix show, that's the one. <sighs> and finally, um, another break would be Spinning Silver. It's set in winter. It's by Naomi Novik and she wrote Uprooted, which was also pretty hyped. I feel like Spinning Silver was pretty hyped when it came out. And um, yeah, I mean, I loved it. It was a 4.75 read at the minimum. Um, it's not a full five stars because it, it does have romance, but I wanted more from the romance. I wanted it to be a little bit more developed. Um, like, I wanted more romance than the other aspects of the story. But the other aspects of the story were so good and so compelling also that it's like great and I guess, you know, romance didn't take center stage and the romances were so good that I just wanted them to take center stage so it wasn't a full five for me. But I think that's just me being too picky and wanting too much romance. So, um, but yeah, so Spinning Silver is about, mostly about Mary but there are also two other female characters and um, centers about them as well but Miriam is basically um, money lender and she's kind of the Miller's daughter um, it's sort of a rumble with Silskin and Miller's daughter Miller, 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 Miller's daughter? is it the Miller's daughter? Um, you know, spinning shrines of gold type thing but this one's more like silver into gold um, but yeah, um, we have Magic, we have um, the Staric, this like raider type magical people, and the prince and a king and just, and a princess and a farm girl and there's a bunch of stuff uh, and it's great. I love it. I loved it. It was great. There you go. Hunted, Shiver, Blood Air. Simple Wild, Spinning Silver, and Dash and Lily's Book of Bears. You want winter vibes? You want to feel like during winter? Maybe you're not in a cold weather region and you want to feel like you are? <laughs> Pick those up or you are in winter weather and you want to feel even more wintry? Pick any of those up. Um, they certainly make me think of winter and feel like it's winter, at least in my mind. Um, so yeah, that's it. 
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.